Hello everyone, my name is Odinson and this is Modded Minecraft, uh, Diawar 20 1.19 pack and we are on episode 56. Alright, following on from the last episode, I did all the auto crafting, it took ages because, well just look at it, all this stuffs, but I am ready <laughs> to build the fusion reactor. We're going to make it daytime and we're going to head on over there and um, start this process. So, crystal fuel is going well. We're full on that 10 buckets. So, what I need to do now is... Six, two, three, four... Why can't I pick this up? I remember. That's what we need to do. Yes. Okay. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that. You know, um, we don't need to be using our time at the moment. Put that there. Throw that away. All right, solid base. As with all mechanism machines, well, multi-block machines. They have a solid base. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay. And then we just need to build out our frame. Um, let's see how this plays out, actually. Hold on. I think I may have dramatically overestimated the amount of stuffs that I need. But that's not our big problem. On the top. And then we need our thingies here, so we're gonna go. They can't be touching each other, so you lay them out in a sort of hex pattern like this. How many of these have I got left? An absolute ton. Uh, how many? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. I could go another 8 high. I don't want to go 8 high, but I know what I am going to do. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, you, you, you. Alright, and then we're going to take off these sides. So. Okay, come over to this corner. Right. All right. So nine, ten high will be fine. And then we'll just keep the extra materials. We'll just run with this and see if we want to expand it later. Seems pretty good to me. Good. Okay. Okay. Seems more reasonable. So we've still got way too many. Okay. Alrighty, righty, let's uh, keep on building. Alright. All right. So that's good. Good. Now we need. We should feel the sun. Okay. Screwed up again.
How is the sun set already? Jesus, where does the time go? Okay, no more loose ones inside. Right, let's get this finished right, shall we? If I, how many of these blocks have I got? 56? Right, and then we need to put these on top. Okay. And now glass. And the top, forgot about you. Yeah, and that's basically all of my casings. So. Okay, and that formed a multi-block. Which is a good thing. You are not a good thing. You are a bad thing. Okay, uh, let's go make it day because that's annoying. Damn it. Hate you. Run. Okay, looking good. We, are, we got our multi-block, so we are going to want to have a, a valve here. Port. Yeah, the logic adapter system. Uh, for you. Then we're going to want another one here for water. Ah. <clears throat> that's water in and we want to cool it in cool it out but what we want to probably do when we do our turbine is have this up here have one there and then have one there all right, cool. And then on this side, we can do the, just have the alarm thing because we don't want this to blow up particularly. Let me just stick these on the front. I like if we go, let's say, Because we don't have enough fuel. 
we can have him on high temperature. Excess waste. Damage critical, and then we'll put this one on not enough fuel after. Cool. So that is our fission reactor built. So one more thing we do want to do before we uh, finish up here is going to be we need a pump. Uh, mechanism will do. Craft me a pump. And then what I'm going to do is dump all this stuff away. Don't need any more of that now. Excellent. Over here. Yep. <clears throat> Cool. Right, I've got a bucket, so that's good. Uh, I've got a flux point. Pump. And I've got mechanical pipes here somewhere. Uh, ultimate. Cool. And what I am going to want is um, a mech. Look at all these auto crafting recipes. Want them. So I'm going to want three of them. And seven of them. <clears throat> is that ultimate mechanical pipe? Yes, it is. That's good. And then it's going to be a case of getting ready to build the turbine. Because... The fission reactor doesn't gen uh, actually generate power directly. It only generates heat, which heats water into steam, and the steam drives the turbine. Get the idea. This thing again. As always, it's this thing. Um, damn it. Got to be in here somewhere. There he is. And that's something I need to do after this, actually. I'm going to put it on straight away. Once this is done. All right. Seven of them, eight of them. Got two more of these, one more. Come on. There we go. Right, uh, resonant, I want two of them, please. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so on this side, we are going to, I'm gonna put it here. And then what I'm gonna do is do this. Being sneaky sneaky. Uh, I wanna get a bucket of water. And uh I want my pump. So break this. All right, and then I want my flux plug on here. Already good, so that's filling up with water. And then what I'm gonna do is you, you, perfect. And then I want my mechanical pipe here. There we go. And then what we should see is this bad boy slowly figure, filling up? I'm 
max burn rate is 80 millibuckets per tick. That's fine. Fuel surface area, heat capacity, blah, blah, blah. That's all good. And there we go. We can see the gaps are filling up with water. So the other thing I can do, it's a gas, the fissile fuel, allegedly. Is uh, the front is output. We can use our ultimate pressurized tube and go like so. And we can see we're filling up with fuel. Now we're not activated yet because we really don't want to until we fill up with water. But we are filling up with fuel. So we're using that uranium hexafluoride that's in there. Yeah, and we're slowly filling up. Not even 10% yet. Beautiful. All right, so there is one more thing I need to do with this, and that is, oh, uh, we're already chunk loaded here. That's good. We build out this way. Yep, and then we've got room to, and we'll build our uh, turbine here. It's perfect. Nice. Okay, so we can head back over here. We're going to keep our stuff ticking over by doing... Uh, we want uranium. Need to go check this out because this is taking its sweet-ass time. Then they will always go into... I mean, it's resonant. Yep. So what is holding us up right now? Um, let's go here. Uh, we're going to have to cancel that and do it again because A2 is stupid. Right, so what are you trying to craft? Electrum. Jesus Christ. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We try again, please.
Glad to got this thing. Okay, so now it seems to be doing what it's meant to be doing. Yep. All right, that's done. So now it's done. Okay. Good. Go. So that's that one, and then um, this one. Lose that. Put that in. Yeah, that doesn't make any difference. You just need one of them. Okay. All right, and at thermal, um, we want this one. Flux linkage increases process speed. Yeah, that one. All right. So this can't make any of this. Okay. Can't. We seriously not done any of that. I guess not. All right. Well, there we go. We've got leg gears. Redstone flux coil. Do that. We haven't got any patterns left. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Some more patterns. And then we just need um this recipe. All crafting, so they can all go in the molecular assembler list. Okay. And then I want six. Go. Uh, we're waiting on lead as always. Oh, God.
go. And that, 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 done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go three in there. And then three in there. Let's um, try this out, shall we? Cobblestone. It's not exactly lightning, but... Um, yeah, it's definitely faster than it was. Okay, cool. Um, so we're now going to get our uranium. We're going to do what we originally came here for. But we needed to do that, get everything faster. All right. Yeah, good. <clears throat> now we're running out of oxygen. Four, twenty-three, twenty-two. Right. So whilst that's cooking, I am going to. Uh, I only want a stack of that anyway. I want a stack of fluorite. A stack of coal, of which we're now going to have an absolute mountain, which is actually a good thing. Uh, number nine. Getting dark, but we're gonna deal. All right, uranium in there. Um, so, coal in there. And then, All right, in there. And that's making some more fissile fuel. Filling up all right here. Yeah, still building fissile fuel. <clears throat> Good stuff. I mean, it's not the biggest. You could do um, 12 by 12 rather than 6 by 6 and literally like quadruple the size of this. But we don't need that much, to be honest. That's a lot of machines to make fissile fuel. And we're not done because these rude boys at the end here. are making this are going to be making DT fuel and their components for it which I believe is these will be making tritium and we will be making um, deuterium them two combined will make uh, DT fuel but we also need them separately for the fusion reactor which will be going here and then we'll be using those um, quantum entangler porters to move once we process the waste from this into polonium, because it's going to be nuclear waste. Yep. And the solar neutral natural makes polonium, and the isotopics makes plutonium. I'm pretty sure it's polonium that we need. And then we mix. Well, we can mix it with. What the hell? Polonium. 
base shifter, 400 million FE per tick. Makes antimatter. Okay, not even looked into that. What is antimatter used for? In the antiprotonic nucleosynthesis, with wither skeleton skulls, makes an unknown substance. Whatever. And then that makes antimatter pellets. Antimatter pellets are used for. Okay, upgrades for the um, mecha suit. So we're going to have to look at that at some point. But anyway, the solar, nucle turns nuclear, solar neutron activator turns nuclear waste into polonium. Polonium is made into polonium pellets. And then polonium is used in all of this stuff. SPSK thing. That's the phase shift thing. A mecha tool. We're also going to have to get into making HDPE. It's not too complicated. UIO. Well, that's the mechanism like laser IO type thing. Modification station. Okay, so that's the thing for the armor. And here we are, mecha suit body armor. Mega cells, radioactive chemical cell. Okay, okay, what the hell? Mecha suit helmet, upgrades, upgrades, mecha suit pants, portable QIO dashboard, QIO driver array, crazy, mecha suit boots, supercharged coil. Oh yeah, that's used in the phase shifter. QIO drive. So it's the QIO stuff, the phase shifter, and the mecha suit is what polonium is used for. Plus we get an absolute ton of power out of the thing. And then we'll like look at this and we'll be making DT fuel. Or the uh, fusion reactor, so we'll get into that after. I just wanted to lay the groundwork for that. This is still cooking. And we're still cooking here. Got 31 buckets of fissile fuel so far, and we're halfway full on our water. So that is a good place for us to stop. And I will say thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time, please stay safe.